Well, hello. This is uh, off to a bad start on a video. I'm, I'm, I'm brazing a piece of carbide on this piece of steel. And the first thing I do is drop the carbide on the ground and have to search for it. So, <laughs> so we're picking right up here. And I'm just going to heat this up. And I'll show you, I'll show you what I'm doing. I'm just making a simple scraper. I'm going to get a little bit more flux on here. I'm going to get that carbide kind of heated up on there. Oh, it looks good. Just a little bit in there. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. Yeah, there I, bra I braised a piece of carbide on there. It's a carbide blank. And I will grab this out of the vise with a pair of pliers because it's pretty darn hot. Now, all I did was I turned this handle here, even put a little knurl on it, and I'm making a little scraper, see? And I'll grind away the uh, the steel here, and and I can shape this so it uh, is really kind of a petite tool. And you'll see me use it. The <clears throat> little scrapers like this are real handy. There's actually a guy on eBay selling these things. You know, brazen carbide onto uh, little piece, pieces of metal. I think square stock even, and they're really useful tools. And this used to be really common uh, back in the 1980s. Anyway, it seemed like everybody did this, and um, you know, people got more used to using uh, carbide inserts. So, um, you can make um, all kinds of tools, let that cool down for sure. And one kind of tool I want to get into making, I thought I had a ruler here, but oh, I've got a square. And that'll work good. I want to show you this kind of tool here. Now, if you put the square across center here, the, uh, the carbide is below center. Now watch this. When you rotate that and get it on center, I can't see it real well, but by um, brazing that little piece of carbide in below center, when it rotates up to center, see it gave it some back rate. And so you can make your own cutters like this. This is a single point boring tool, but you could also, if you, if you put that one in, you could put three of them in or five of them in, and you could have a rotary cutter, see? So it, it's not as hard to make tools as one might think. Now, I'm going to uh, get on the drafting table and show some basic layouts for making more complicated tools like this one. Now I'm going to get another tool over here. And uh, uh, this one here, I had the most beautiful one, but I set it down and I can't find it. But this, this is a basically um, a boring bar type tool. And I wanted to show this because I just used a used carbide insert. You know, you don't have to go out and buy carbide blanks. You know, you can take a used insert and start grinding on it with a green wheel and uh, get a uh, something like an easy lap here. And you can start making your own tools, you know, and uh, real easy. You don't have to have the cutter grinder and all that stuff to get started. If I dug through my stuff, I'd probably find some tools I made uh, long before I had the cutter grinder, and they're even uglier than some of my ugliest ugly tools. Like, here, this is an ugly tool here. That's pretty ugly, but I tell you what, it's a real effective little boring bar. Now that's another one, see, I put the, I put the carbide uh, insert, or not insert, but blank in there below center, and when it rotates up to center, see, it's got some uh, rake on the top. And you can also um, groove your, put a groove in so you can get, you know, your two angles of top rake. So, you know, when you're making your own tools, you, 
you are the one in control. And that's pretty handy if you're machining some very difficult materials, you know, like uh, aerospace materials or some of this stuff they have out at hand for <laughs> high nickel stuff, all kinds of things like that. You might want to vary those angles to get a good finish. And a good finish is very important if, to get good accuracy, of course. So this is the beginning of uh, making your own tools and not being uh, dependent on shaking inserts out of packages and buying, buying your way out of problems. You, this way you can get yourself out of a problem. And I'll tell you what, there's been times where I've had jobs where people were out of work because a piece of equipment was broke down and I was able to get that job done by being able to make a tool and not waiting for it to be delivered. So that's my tip of the day, is to make your own tools. Okay, bye.